Hi guys, it's Kai here and welcome back to 80 Days. Let me move my water out of the way. I don't know why I still have that in front of me. But uh, we are in this place. I don't remember at all where we were trying to go. I'm so bad at remembering where I wanted to go. But it looks like the only place we can go is Dubai, which is okay. And it arrives today. So we're just, we're gonna go ahead and go. So that's what we're gonna do. We're on a fishing yacht. Sweet. And I think we, I don't even remember what we still have. I don't know if we have a compass. I know we have some sort of coat. I don't know. I don't remember anything about this game. We hired the services of a local fisherman to take us down the coast using rudimentary sign language to explain our purpose. The arrangement was made in the early evening and he seemed most surprised when I returned a short while later with fog in tow. I guess he expected it to be just us. A not entirely unexpected state of affairs, seeing as, as how our course would take us close to Muscat, a widely known den of in, in, iniquity? I don't know what that is. Sin and otherwise thoroughly criminal behavior. Still, we did not give him the opportunity to complain. I don't know. We're going. Let's go. But scrambled aboard and watched as he lowered the sails, swung out his boom, and turned the spring of an outward paddle. All right. Let's go. So apparently, supposedly, we're supposed to get there today, even though it's like already 10 p.m. I don't think I'd want to be on the boat in the middle of the night, although 10, 10 p.m. is not the middle of the night, but I wouldn't want to be on a boat at nighttime. I feel like that would be creepy. The boat made slow progress down the narrow Persian Gulf. Um, let's, I don't know, stay out and look around. We stayed out in the open where the blazing sunshine roasted us like, well, it's not, okay, it's 10 p.m. There's no sunshine. <laughs> We stayed out in the open where the blazing sunshine roasted us like so much grilling fish. The fisherman put us to the port of Dubai a few hours later and we disembarked and headed straight to a cafe. Okay, well, good to know. It's now 11 o'clock, but they're pretending to be a day. So obviously we have to stay because it's 11 o'clock at night, obviously. Dubai is a small and unimportant place that has been feuded over by local tribes for many years. My main experience here was getting lost in the streets. I don't know, maybe he can figure out a place to go. And extracting myself, I was, of course, sold a monkey or pickpocketed. Let's get a monkey. <laughs> sold a rather ugly monkey for 30 pounds. Fog was most decidedly did not like the creature, especially after I bit him on the nose. Um, oh, don't tie it to a table leg and just leave it. Okay. We're gonna go with the first one, that we don't know how to get rid of it, but I, but I could not see how to get rid of it. We went to bed with the creature in the room, we woke to find no monkey. Oh, great, it must have left. <laughs> a trained monkey fog remarked darkly, less trained and more monkey, I should think. And so someone sold us a monkey that's meant to come home at night. So we gave them 30 pounds and they get their monkey back and they could keep doing it over and over again. We've been scammed, damn. I walked the streets a while, discovering the possibilities for how we could, how we might make progress, okay? Can we depart? Can I zoom out, please? No, I wanna go this way. I wanna go down there. How do I get there? I don't wanna go here. No. Can we, can we keep talking? I don't know. Go to the market. Do we have anything we can sell? How, how did we get tea? I don't know, how do we end up with that? I don't know linen trousers wind scarf that's a lot of olive oil i don't think we want any of this but i don't want to i don't want to leave because if i leave I'm, darn it oh we should have gone to bombay from this place oopsies um 35 46 arrives tomorrow departs before nine um, but if we go that way i don't know I don't know, maybe we can go that way. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Against my better judgment, we're gonna go up there. I don't know. Just because it's close and maybe we can start heading down the coast. I don't know. I don't know. A small fleet of ferry boats sailed by crews of coffee-colored youths crossed the Parisian Gulf several times a day. They raced, threatened to ram one another, skirting left and right last minute, and generally put on a wonderful show of dizzying effortless skill. That's, that's scary. Fog weathered the performance of our gondoliers with his usual grace, though I think he found the unfettered sunshine somewhat oppressive. The open water was a long cry from the dusty corners of the reform club. Well, I'd, I think I'd rather be out there than in a reform club as well. Okay, let's... Oh, some of our possessions could earn as well here. Like what? I don't know. Nope. We're gonna keep all of that. I don't know. I think you're a liar. Nothing will sell well. He's a line jerk. 
I don't want a cap. Um, do we want any of this? Rum. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we want. Nope, I don't want any of this. No, how do I stop? X. Let's sit. Oh, shoot. Well, I went to the market, so I couldn't explore. Darn it. <laughs> The mood in Bandar Abbas was upbeat. I found since being reclaimed into Persia after years of control by the pirates of Muscrat, Muscat, people believe that they had escaped a great tyranny. Um, let's go to the coffee shop where a group of intellectuals were teaching themselves the game of dominoes from instructions on the back page of an old newspaper. I am abysmal at the game, but they appear to be novices, uh, so I settled in to challenge them, and indeed walked away from the table a little richer and with a new set of dominoes in my possession. It seems they had liked the game enough to give it up entirely. Well, all right then. Okay, now let's explore, because we need new places to go. Ooh, see, there we go. That's what I wanted. That way we can start heading south again. I struck up a few conversations here and there, hunting for options of how we might proceed. Okay, sweet. Can we leave? Arrives Wednesday. When does it leave? Like now? Can I go now? Oh shoot, let's hire extra space. Cause at this point I can't give any up, give up any of my luggage. Wow, look at that ship, that's nice. The Better Brothers was a scheduled departure out of Bandera Abbas's busy port, but even when we walked up the gangplank, I had an uneasy sense that there was something a little amiss. There was something about the crew that suggested they were not all of sound of mind or even in some cases of body. Please pay no attention to my little family, the captain whispered, they are fine sailors, truly they are. As he spoke, he rubbed his hand together as though cleaning off blood. That's creepy. Like, just sit here and be like, that, that's creepy. Um, we did our best to ignore him and settled ourselves into the cabin. We're going to get robbed. We're going to die. We're going to get robbed. This is the end of us. We're not going to make it around the world. We're going to get killed on the bed of Brothers Fancy. It's probably a pirate boat. It's a pirate ship. We are on a pirate ship. That's it. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. This is a long trip. I don't think I can make it. Can we wait? What is this? Oh, uh, no, that's not what I want. Get out of here. Okay, we wait. The first day passed innocently enough. The crew, when we saw them, were cordial. Uh, though I sensed some secret behind their smiles, which I could not fathom. Fog seemed to my mind a little more on edge than usual, but it was probably due to the lack of decent down feathers in his pillow. Okay, I don't know. I'm telling you, we are on a freaking pirate ship. Okay, let's talk. Let's see if we can figure out. We need to go this way because I can see it right there. And then maybe that one because I can see it over there. Okay, goodbye. Okay, of course he gave us the one that I didn't really want. I want to go this way. I don't know, I feel like going south around the bottom would be nice. We... I feel like we should stay in the cabin with our stuff. Just in case. I think they're pirates. Shh. We spent the day in our cabin with the door bolted, taking no risk and meeting no one. The coast of India moved into view with an agonizing slowness. slowness. I only hoped we would reach it. Still, by nightfall, no real accident has befallen us. I breathed a deep sigh of relief, but we were not ashore yet. I don't know. I don't trust these people. They're sketching me out with, their, with what they're telling me. We've arrived in Karachi in early morning. The captain saw us to a gangplank with a beaming smile. Well then, he declared, did you enjoy sailing with my little family? Um, let's just say it's a pleasure. We don't, we don't want to make him mad. The captain nodded vigorously. My brothers have enjoyed your comp comp <laughs> company, gentlemen. Farewell. With that, he waved us off. From the shore, I looked back and remarked to Fogg. Um, what a strange crew. Did you see their noses? Fogg replied, tapping his own. Um, whatever do you mean? I don't know. What does a nose have to do with anything? He called them his family. I believe that is exactly what they are. Fogg curled his lip. They're quite how they are related to one another is best left unexplored, I think. With that, we left the strange crew and entered the magnificent city of Karachi. Okay, well, we're safe. I don't think we lost anything, so that's cool. Can I plan? No, I want to go south. That's not going to help. Not going to help. Let's explore. Explore. Oh, good. Oh, we could. Oh, wow. Well, we can skip right over that one. That's awesome. I browsed around my ears opening open, investigating the various ways in which we might continue. Sweet. Well, we can get down to Bombay. When? When? When can we do that? Oh, we could. Oh, it departs tomorrow. That's fine. Is there anything at the market? What do I do with dominoes? I don't know. I don't think I want dominoes. Okay. I guess we have to stay. Because to get to Bombay, we have to wait till tomorrow, which is okay. It's okay. It's all right. 
The undisputed sovereign of an airship travel in Karachi was a brightly dressed lady of middle years by the name of Jamuna Ezra. Jamuna Gajini. Gajani. I don't know. If we're being proper, she corrected. Esma is my maid. Ezra is my maiden name. Um, I don't know. I found her to be an excellent businesswoman. We began our conversation discussing all the various routes available, but it quickly turned to her own transports. I can help you, she assured me, but where, where is it that you want to go? Delhi or Bombay? Uh, we're going around the world. I blurted in reply. Ezra began to laugh softly at first and then uproariously. A few of the men and women waiting in her outer office poked their heads in curiously. Like, London? She gasped out loud. Across Asia? You do know you're going the wrong way round. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> she waved away my attempt to explain. You're too precious. My husband is going to love this story. Madam Ezra dismissed me with a wave of her hand. I admit I left out a detail or two about the good lady when I relayed my encounter to Fogg. Well, what do you mean we're going the wrong way? Help us out then. Can we leave now? 250, 120. Arrives tomorrow. Arrives tomorrow. But we're going, I think, I want to go this way. Oh gosh. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, we have so far to go. It's day 30. We're not going to make it. Let's go this way. Go. The hell is that? Looks like a spaceship. What? We boarded a metal clad Savar car on a hmm. We boarded a metal clad Savar automotic. I don't know. Headed for Bombay. It was a sleek little conveyance, no doubt, one of the prides of Madame Ezra's vast passenger fleet. Uh, I don't care about the catering. There was a sizable observation deck. The other passengers clung to the brass railings and peered through the polished glass windows as we sailed into the air. Okay. Converse. Can we talk to her about this place? I don't know. Uh. I don't, uh. I'm, I don't know these places at all. I know nothing about these. I'm just gonna click random ones. Playing cards. So then maybe she'll talk to us a little bit more. This place, I don't know. This one, cool. This one, I guess. Dominoes, so she'll talk to us again. Oh, whoa, there's a lot more. This one, that, I don't know. Goodbye, I guess. That I don't think that helped us at all. Well, geez. That's so far. Whoa. That's a lot of open water. I don't know about all that. Not good. The view of the Indian coast was fantastic. Um, let's look out the window, I guess. Um, let's, I don't know. And it favored me with a smile, okay. I smiled back, I guess. I smiled back as she turned to look at the rapidly receding ground, allowing me to see the wonder spreading through her face. The airship bucked in a stray air current and threw the woman into my arms. I tightened my embrace. I don't know. <laughs> she twisted out of my craft and was about to give me a charming smile when I saw her expression. It was full of fear. She gasped and bolted from the observation deck without a backward look. Strange. Very strange. Well, I don't know. That was probably the wrong thing to do, but... I saw the Indian woman from the previous day beside a tightly corseted English something. Uh, I glanced at her direction and she blanched. She made her excuses to her mistress and left the, observ <laughs> left the observation deck again. Um, I could not fathom it. Do you know something or whoever? She demanded. Uh, she fell yesterday? I said truthfully and I caught her. I meant no harm, but she seemed frightened. Liar, the lady hissed. You do know her. What have you done, you brute? Um, I merely caught her when she fell, I explained yesterday as we were taking off. The something seemed satisfied with my answer, for she drew back. Leah has had a difficult life, she said softly. I'm protective of her. The, I guess. The woman seemed to soften. There are so many among us who would believe friendship possible between two such women, but they are wrong. I saw Leah and the something only once more as we were disembarking the, the, this thing. Um, give her a nod. I don't know. I guess. I guess. Let's watch them as they walk away. I don't know. That's creepy. We're just being creepy at this point. I don't know. I don't know. Can we plan? Yeah, the only way we can go is really down. But that's okay. 
that's okay, I guess. Look at the market. Anything? No. We don't really have room in our stuff anyway. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm running out of time. It's day 32. I don't think we're gonna make it. I'm sad. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. And as always, leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!